Hey guys, what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and have another great day. In this video, I want to talk to you all regarding these two RTX 3090s that I have been doing a test for the past 15, 16 days as of recording this video. And so I have been solo mining Ravencoin and pool mining Ravencoin. So I want to show you guys the results and they are quite shocking. Yet again, I don't know if some of you guys saw the video where I solo mined Firo and pool mined Firo as well. That was a couple weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, link down below. The results are shocking. But in this video, I thought I would do a test. And uh, yeah, it's been about 16 days and it's, yeah, I found a block. I'm just going to spill it right now. And a block on Ravencoin is 5000 thousand okay which is just insane and so in a sec here i'll show you the comparison between like hitting a block versus pool mining raven coin and yeah the results are quite staggering but i just wanted to start off with a disclaimer you know solo mining is a big gamble and for me in my solo mining journeys here i have been pretty lucky and I will show you guys my luck factor on two miners. Uh, that's where I am solo mining Ravencoin on this 3090. And then on this 3090, I'm also pool mining on two miners. So there are a lot of different things I want to talk about in this video. Not just, you know, how much I've mined, but, you know, my luck factor, also my latency to the mining pools. I think that's one of the big things regarding solo mining, if you should solo mine or not. And also I do wanna do a like profit comparison to if I were to mine instead Ethereum on these 3090s versus uh, the profits that I just got on Ravencoin uh, pool and solo. So anyways, I will see you guys in the computer. I'll just quickly show you the power consumption of both of these rigs here, 360, around 360 watts for both of these 3090s mining Ravencoin. And uh, yeah, I'm doing it in Hive OS, which I'll show you guys in the computer right now. See you in there. All right guys, so before I show you the results, I just wanted to take note of how many miners are on two miners as of recording this video. So there's 303. And the reason why I'm recording it is because I wanna see how many people actually move over <laughs> to solo mining on uh, Ravencoin and because the reason why I did that on the Firo video as well last time that about a couple hundred of you moved over to mining on two miners solo and that drastically dropped my luck and other people's as well sorry Red Fox Crypto everyone go subscribe to Red Fox Crypto I forgot to mention him by the way because I took inspiration from him to solo mine Firo and that is something that if you guys saw that video uh, where I solo mined Firo, it was utterly amazing. It was, yeah, $100 more than if I were to mine Ethereum on a single RTX 3090. But my luck factor was just incredible, obviously. That was one of the biggest things. And my latency to two miners Firo solo pool was, I think, like 13 milliseconds or something. Which I will show you right now. My ping time, my latency to... Uh, the Ravencoin solo two miners is uh, is uh, 80, 80 milliseconds, 79, 80 milliseconds. So I'm I'm not that great. You no, know, it's not as great as 13, obviously. But anyways, here is the Hive OS. Okay, uh, showing my two rigs here. Uh, some of you may notice. Okay, so I can show you the full rig that's solo mining right now. Uh, solo Raven test. This one's been up just straight 15 almost 16 days now but my other one here which is the pool raven test i accidentally restarted it and so the rig yeah restarted but it's generally been mining the exact same time as my solo uh 3090 okay so just to just clarify that in case some of you guys are like red panda this one's only been mining for seven days no it's it just rebooted, but it's actually been mining for the same time, okay? So anyways, here's the, here are the results, guys. This is what you came to see. I'll show you the rig where I hit that one block, okay? You can see here, I hit a block the last 30 days, and uh, you can see here, last seven days, one block. So this, uh, the block that I received on this solo test rig was on, uh, let's see, the 20th, okay? So now it is the November 24th. So theoretically, this rig found a block, I would say, on 11 days in, roughly. 11 days in, solo mining Ravencoin, okay? 
and you can see here 4925 now the pool i believe the two miners does get a 1.5% uh, fee but the profit here okay for one block as of recording right now is worth about $553 $554 okay which is insane now if we go to my pool 3090 which is just normally mining on a regular pool with everyone else you can see here total for the past 30 days or the past 16 days yeah i'm just it's equating everything together i've mined only 600 raven coin okay in that time frame the same time frame as my other 3090 here okay so so some of you guys thinking i'm lying no this is exactly this thing has been mining since uh, i can show you the exact date uh actually no it doesn't go that far because all the payouts are <laughs> little little increments of raven raven coin here but anyways 600 raven coin which you know all together now so the past 16 days that's worth only 67 dollars you can see how much more i've mined solo versus uh, pool mining on two 3090s, the exact same hash rate. And yeah, my luck factor though, you can see here 9%. This is the biggest, like, I am incredibly lucky when it comes to solo mining. And I'm going to say not everyone else is going to be as lucky as I am. All right. So if you guys, just a disclaimer, if you guys are going to try to solo mine on two miners, just know that you're, it's like gambling and you may not you know get a block until a long time right this was about 11 or 12 days in for me to get that personal luck of nine percent so think about you know people say you know regularly you have to hit like a hundred percent in order to equate to the same as if you were just pool mining i know that a lot of people say that but man my results so far as uh, as i've been solo mining i just feel that solo mining is going to do way better than pool mining but if that was within a year of course i i will have to do a test i am gonna do a year test i have some gpus i'm gonna devote to a solo mining test for a year and i just want to see you know as people say solo mining should even out over the course of a year versus pool mining i want to see if that's true or not and i mean these results that you see now my nine percent luck on this block and then now my personal luck is four percent right because it resets as after i found that block uh, resets to zero so it's been about four days almost five days i think uh, since the last block so it's already been at four percent this number here personal luck is going to continue to go higher and higher until i find a block and then it's going to reset back down to zero right and then that's how uh, it, it shows you know versus how long it would take for me to mine 4,925 raven coin versus pool mining so i want to do some math here so it last 40 24 hours right i mined about 41 raven coin so if i did that times uh let's say how how long would it take for me to hit 5,000 right just just roughly divided by uh let's do 5,000 5,000 divided by 41 so this is about 121 days for me to mine about four months, I would say four months to mine 5,000 Raven coin. And then to put it in perspective, I mined that in about 11 days in a solo block, solo on two miners. It, man, it, that just puts it in perspective like, wow, <laughs> right? It takes this long, it would take this long normally to, uh, to mine that much Raven coin versus uh, solo mining or, uh, yeah, pool mining, solo mining. So, wow, I am. I am just shocked. And another metric I wanted to show you guys is regularly a 3090 right now, right? Let's see here. It mines about seven, eight dollars a day mining Ethereum. Okay, so let's say here for the past 16 days, 16 times eight bucks, that would be $128 worth. Okay, meaning the last 16 days that I've been mining on uh, solo or pool mining even, it looks like, yeah, it would have been much better to mine Ethereum. For the past 16 days then pool mining uh raven coin but then the past 16 days solo mining raven coin 553 dollars versus 128 well i got lucky of course i got extremely lucky that i found this block within that time frame right with the less in less than uh, 11 12 days so what do you guys think does this mean i need to change all of my rigs to solo mine raven coin now maybe Maybe I need to do that. No, just kidding. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. This is something that 
I'm extremely lucky and uh, not everyone is going to be as lucky as I am, okay? So if you guys are going to attempt this, just a disclaimer, all right? Just a disclaimer that you may not be as lucky as I was to hit that block, okay? Do this at your own risk. It's kind of like gambling, okay? And uh, it was fun, right? It's very fun to do this test. Don't get me wrong. I love showing these results to you guys. And uh, some of you guys may say, like, Red Panda, you know, 16 days is, is, not a, is not enough. And you know what? You may be right. But I don't want to devote these 3090s to just solo mining and pool mining Ravencoin for the next four months. The next four months, I could find more blocks, right? And then we, we could just be la like, theoretically, if I found another two more blocks this year on this 3090, it would probably do, it would already make sense. Like it would make more than pool mining Ravencoin on a single 3090 over time, right? Over the time, over a time period of a year right? Does that make sense to you guys? If not, let me know down below. But who knows, right? There could be sometimes uh, the block where you can find something over uh, 100%, right? I think I've seen some personal lucks that are like 150, 170. It just means that it's been taking you longer and longer to find a block versus uh, pool mining. Anyways, guys, this was fun. This was a fun little solo mining test. Let me know down below what you guys think. And uh, I'm going to be watching this number after this video releases and see how many of you move over. But like I said, just 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 be wary, right? Not everyone's going to be as lucky as I am. And another thing to take note of, if you guys are going to move over, right? If you guys are going to move over, then the, you know, your luck factor difficulty of, you know, the Raven coin is going to go up. And then uh, your luck factor is probably it's going to get worse and worse, right? As more people join into solo mining, right? It, it just gets more unluckier in a sense, right? So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what coin is next that you want me to test out or solo mine. Actually, I think I'm done with like solo mine tests. I'm going to now do um, like Ethereum miner tests versus these 3090s like uh, Team Black Miner versus T-Rex or something and uh, do those kind of tests. But anyways, my friends, thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a good one and peace out.